Welcome back everybody, my name's Shane. Hi, I'm Rhiannon. And Rhiannon's now been playing guitar for, I guess, two and a bit months? Yeah. So we thought right. we'd have a chat about what it's like starting from scratch. It's been a long time for me because I've been playing for too many years and I still have nothing to show for it. <laughs> but I, I know the journey when, you, when you're first getting into it can be yeah. kind of sometimes tedious, sometimes fun, sometimes frustrating and other times it can be easy. So Yeah, it's all of that, isn't it? So he'd like to say how he feels about it. This is Brave, we forgot to mention. Brave, oh, yeah. Brave is the wonder dog. Here he is. He's got the stinkiest breath ever. He's so, on Instagram, Brave the Toy Poodle. Yeah, he is. Yeah, we'll uh, link it in the, on screen somewhere. You can check it out. What challenges have you faced with it? What are you finding kind of easy? What's, okay. what's the process been like for you? So the easy part comes from why I'm playing guitar, because I write songs. Yep. I write country music. So that part's easy in terms of I want to pick up the guitar. I like the language of guitar. Mm -hmm. Now, the challenges have been finding a routine that works for me yep. and not getting too overwhelmed. Yeah, that's a big thing. I think sometimes people try to cram too much too soon with guitar and I'm even guilty of that. If I'm trying to work out a new lick, yeah. I'll want to play the whole thing through rather than like break down just a second of it and, and then sure. ingrain it into the muscle memory and that's a big part of guitar. A lot of people think guitar is a lot of natural talent when it comes to hand-eye coordination kind of thing, but it's also, I think it's almost more muscle memory than anything else. And then, yeah. then talent is a part of your ear being able to work it out with your hand down the yeah. track, right? That comes yeah, with experience that too. That's also yeah. an experience thing more than it is uh, sometimes a talent thing, but a big part of guitar playing is muscle memory. Yeah. Anything new can be challenging on, on guitar, They're absolutely. Yeah. But you picked it up pretty quick, like your, okay. your chord changes are nice and smooth and there's a clear difference between like when I first showed you those chords mm. to, to where you're at now. I mean, just jamming with it was fun. You got good timing and that's okay, cool. some, one of those things. We're not even playing to a, a, a drum track or anything and yeah, that was a fun little jam and I got to got to play some <laughs> it was pretty good. It inappropriate was pretty good. stuff over the top of it. It was awesome. Yeah. So you you trying to structure your practice into just small little bits, is that what it micro, is? Micro, yeah, little micro moments, five at the most kind of 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and I'll just work three chords. I yeah, might do cool. G to D to C for that whole 10 minutes. Yeah. Even sometimes I find I need to pair it back even more than that. Yep. And I might just do A and C and that's it. Okay, if, cool. The more simple, the more effective it is yep. for me. And I mean, that's not cool by any means, but it works. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Have you, is there one chord you're struggling to hit more than another out of the ones you've, you've worked on? I'd say probably just finding C from anything. Okay. Apart from A minor, um, having to go for, to C was the hardest for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So there's a good little tip I gave you originally was that on off position thing. So if yes. you play a chord, even when you're not plugged in or whatever, you can just hit the chord take your fingers off the fretboard, do it on and off. Yeah. And the yeah. more you can, I don't know, the more you can kind of um, add that into your practice, it, on the tricky chords, the it, far easier they'll become. Yeah. And I think, <laughs> look at this guy. I know, so and a, a big part of it is uh, trying not to be stiff. It's really easy to That's want to point. push hard and, and really play point. hard, but I think keeping your hand as loose as you can, yeah, to cool. some extent, is a really good, wrist. yeah. Yeah. To not, like, yep. game. Yeah, to get that. The I call renamed your thing the lift off technique. Oh cool. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Um, that's actually what I do when I need to keep it really simple. Yep. Is I'll just do that for a while and not look at it and just find the place. Yeah. That's a really good thing. Like that wasn't something that I was taught either. It was just something that I found worked. Oh you made it up. Yeah. Oh cool. So I never had like I learned a little bit of guitar in school and then I stopped. Oh. But it wasn't like they teach you how to do that. It was just no. something like I'm really struggling with, I think it was a D chord when I first started doing it. So I was like, that to me, that just made sense. That was sense. the logic like, of it. Yeah. Drill, drill that into my hand, the easiest. Well, how can I drill this into my hand so yeah. I'm not even thinking about it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and Tommy Emmanuel, one of the greatest Australian guitarists, he, he's a big advocate of, you know, as much of a wizard he is on guitar, he still says, you know, if he's learning something, he'll just drill small sections of it yeah. uh, m maybe not so much anymore but this is a video going back a long time i watched yeah. but he's like the if you can just master a small section before you move on he basically said you should be able to read the newspaper or something and play a chord yeah okay and once yeah. you can do that it, you, you 
body and your hand and your brain and everything's just and doing it on that. autopilot and that's part of the yeah. the big challenge when it comes to playing guitar it's that freedom comes from not thinking about it so much absolutely yeah, yeah that makes so much sense yeah when it comes to practicing guitar as mm -hmm. well i think it's good to do like shorter stints of it yeah rather than like an hour at the end of the week because that's not enough. I couldn't do it that long, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. I get so overwhelmed or fatigued, physically fatigued yeah. as well. So I will sometimes do multiple times a day, but only five or ten minutes. Yeah, that makes sense. And yeah. probably averaging like five days a week. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's, that's great. I mean, the more your hand is on the guitar, the easier it gets. Even in shorter, yeah, exactly. five minutes a day beats, yeah, an hour at the end of the week. It just does. Uh, you, your hand will develop better strength and better muscle memory and... Okay. Um, all that kind of stuff. So it, yeah, cool. I know a lot of big, I underestimated how many beginners watch the channel. I ran a poll yeah, on it a while okay, back. Cool. And I thought uh, this, like this might beginners. be kind of an insight into how, like even when I practiced when I first started, yeah, I'd just work on what I knew and then I'd reverse the chords. Ah, okay. And I only did that once I could go from one to say D to A okay. or A to whatever. Yep. I would do that over and over again and then I'd maybe add a chord and yeah. or go backwards or try mm -hmm. to, Challenge with challenge myself with what I knew until the muscle memory was there, okay. or just have your hand completely off a guitar and then land on a chord. Mm, you know, little things like that yeah, as well. I think I like over that. time, one of the things I've learned is it, it's almost about thumb position for me as well. Okay, where the thumb is on the back of the guitar. Yep, that's a good one. It's like part of what makes the chord f feel the way that it does mm -hmm. is how my thumb's positioned. Yeah. So a D, it's sort of lower. Yeah. A G, okay. it's in a different spot. Yep. And it's all of those combinations. It's not so much just the fingers on the fretboard as it is. It's about, orientation. Yeah, about how it is in relation to the thumb. Okay. And you'll work out easier mm. ways to play chords over time too. It becomes easier once you work, oh, I can slide my hand down further or yeah. bring my wrist up higher or flatten out or or whatever. So Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's there's little ways like that that can kind of make That's a good the one. journey a bit easier and just yeah, just keep on track with the the muscle memory stuff because eventually it's going to mm. be second nature and you will go oh what's next that'll be amazing yeah so just just keep plowing away yeah. it's good nice i do have a question mm -hmm. when i hear other people not necessarily you know the keith urban's in my world <laughs> yeah, yeah just even people who are more advanced i wonder how do i get from playing you know the four or five chords i know to seeing what i see in blues but in country music too these guys are up and down that fretboard what what makes that transition Guitar's basically all patterns. Okay. So you learn one pattern, and it, it, no matter what key the song is in, so if, you, if you're in A, the pattern starts, well, it doesn't start somewhere, but in relation to where it would okay. typically begin on another song, everything's the same. You watch me play, I'm sort of like a major and minor and blues pentatonic player. Got it. You watch a guy like Robert Baker, who's one of my favorite YouTubers, or Rough and Nasta, or any of these great players, and they're doing different scales, but they all kind of work in any song to, to some extent. Okay. There's, there's certain rules where they may have to modify the scale slightly or whatever, but if you learn a pattern of notes, mm -hmm. and it's five notes on the most part, yep. called the pentatonic, that will work over just about every rock song ever written. So that's what I'm seeing when you're yeah. going dum, dum. And it's all, okay. it's all a very, the, ba the, the fundamental of it is a fairly simple pattern. Okay. And once you go, cool. once you learn it, you go, Okay, so now I've got this these notes. I know where they are. How do I make music out of it? And that's what a lot of people get stuck with. They get stuck sometimes playing scales instead of making them musical. Okay. So once you know where these um, notes are, mm -hmm. it's good to drill them in, but not just to play them up and down because that's yeah. not the music. Yeah, that's cool. For yeah, me. and what yeah. you're seeing is those patterns being st like picked up and ended in different positions. Cool. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So it. it You'll, okay. If you saw a picture of a fretboard, there'd be dots all over it. Yep. And those are the notes that work in a particular key. And then if I took that piece of paper and we're in B, I could shift it one, two frets up, and it'd be exactly the same. Okay. For me, it's more about muscle memory than thinking, this is an A, this is a B, this is a C. I'm not ever thinking like that when I play yep. lead. I'm always like, here's what I know and how it relates to the, the chords. Yeah. So... It, it isn't as complicated as that may have sounded, but it's no, it's that, a simple fundamental pattern, yeah. and then that will apply to most most songs. It's pretty I cool. I think you got it. Did you get it? You got it. He got it. He understands. <laughs> Man, he's he's uh he just had a huge walk, so 
He's just happy to be here. He's happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, guys, if you want to check out Rihanna's channel, I'll leave links below and this little guy's Instagram if you want to follow the toy poodle, the dude. <laughs> he's the stinkiest little man I've ever met, but he's cute. He is cute. He's funny. Oh. Oh. Yeah, All right, if you have any questions about starting guitar, whatever, let us know and we'll do a follow up pretty soon. Hope you like that little yeah, jam and cool. something a little bit different. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Catch you soon. Bye.